Oh my god, guys, look at this right here. The end credits are literally playing in mid-mission. What is going on here, dude? Everyone pretty much knows how Grand Theft Auto 5 ends, but um, is it possible to change up the final cutscene of GTA 5 using a, uh, a mod menu? So here's the moment we've been waiting for. Right in front of us is the ramp and we got the vehicle here lined up. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be pushing the car into the ramp and we're going to see if it changes the cutscene of the game by stopping the car from flooding. Let's test this out right now, dude. We're, oh my god, I can't believe this. We're almost there. Oh, oh my god. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Fernando and welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you guys are having a splendid day so far, man. Now here we are over in story mode today and we're basically gonna be replaying the final mission of GTA 5. But there's gonna be one huge difference this time. So basically what we're gonna be doing here is we're going to be altering the final cutscene of the game. We are going to be possibly saving Devin, the person who you're supposed to go ahead and uh, run down the cliff with a vehicle. Well, we're gonna change up the whole cutscene, we're gonna save him, and we're gonna be altering the whole mission using the power of a mod menu. This will be quite interesting. I'm not sure exactly how this will go ahead and uh, happen in the game, but I'm pretty sure with the power of mod menu, we can pretty much do anything with this, man. So here I'm given the choice A, B, or C. Obviously, if we want to go ahead and kill or save Devin Weston, we need to choose Death Wish. And then as soon as we've done that, we can go ahead and proceed with the mission. Now, before we go ahead and get things started up, make sure you guys don't forget to support the video by dropping that blue thumbs up. I'll be ever so much appreciative if you guys can try to get this video to at least 6,900 likes. I, I will love you. I will freaking love you. I'm going to hook all of you guys up with a, with a bottled water and a used up napkin. If you guys like that type of stuff, hook a brother out. I'll love you guys forever for that. And as well, subscribe to my channel if you guys are brand new. And with that being said, let's get things started up. So very recently, I've been playing GTA 5 more often than not, and I've been uh, fooling around with the game with the mod menu a bit, and you know what, dude, it's quite interesting because you can pretty much do anything with this bad boy. So for example, right here, if I want to go ahead and fuck with Franklin right there, I can just pretty much uh, make him freeze for a bit. So if I press stop animation, he'll just pause for a bit right there, and then he'll stop. So right here, it looks quite <laughs> funny, actually. Here you can see that he just he just gets like a mummy right here. I can just keep freezing him and just mess with him a bit but we're gonna be doing this later on throughout the mission you guys are gonna see exactly what i mean by that so we need to go ahead and make our way all the way towards the yellow marker right there we're just gonna go ahead and skip all of this nonsense right there and get to the juicy part guys so basically in this part right here you're supposed to go ahead and sneak in and take out all the guards and make sure you capture Devin alive so what we're going to be doing here first is we're going to see exactly what Devin is doing. Now, what is this guy doing before we go ahead and alert him? Let's see what he's doing. So, oh, okay. So it looks like he's actually just chilling by the pool and he's on his phone looking at what life invader. Is he looking up Tracy? What? That looks like Tracy actually. What? What is that? <laughs> that That is very, very weird. So it looks like... He has Tracy opened up on the Life Invader page, and he's actually just chilling here, just watching her and stuff. I wonder if I can actually go ahead and just drag him. Oh, I can't even grab him. I can't even grab him. All right, so before I even um, come close to him, he usually just goes and runs towards his little box right here. So what if I go ahead and delete the box? Oh, okay. So the box is finally deleted. So we're going to see exactly what Devin is going to do now instead of hiding in the box. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and just skip everything. We're just gonna make our way all the way here towards Devin. Where's Devin? Okay, there he is. And we're just gonna spawn right behind him. And we're gonna see what he does. All right, Devin, where are you gonna go now? Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? What? 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 He's, he's you're not even hiding. What are you doing? Oh my God, dude, that is that is genuinely weird. What what the hell, Devin? What are you doing, bro? I wonder what else we could do to Devin. Okay, okay, we're not done yet. Can I grab him? I can't even grab him, but we can still mess with him. Let's see if I can copy him. Oh, we can make a Devin copy. Oh, 
Dude, like, there's like a freaking wall of Devin there. Oh my god, dude. All right, let's check if we can put Devin on fire. All right, so it looks like all the Devins here are lit on fire. What the? <laughs> oh my god, but our Devin there is just still chilling there. He's not dead yet. That is, that is honestly really weird, man. Let's make him invisible. Did it turn invisible? No. No, but it looks like this Devin right here is just chilling. That looks like that's the real him. And what else can we do to this Devin right here? Oh my god, dude. Like, look at this. Holy crap. These people look like burnt up cookies. Oh my god. Devin, are you still okay, buddy? There we see Devin as a normal person. And there we see Devin as a smaller person. So we can make him into a small little midget if we want to go ahead and do that. All right, let's make him into a midget. And let's see exactly how this is going to go, how it play out in the cutscene. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! The bug just reappeared! What? And he's not small! What? Okay. That is that is weird. That is honestly really, really weird. The box came back and Devin was back to normal size. Okay, that is that is really really weird, man. What the what the fuck just happened? <laughs> What just happened, bro? Oh my god. So what we need to go ahead and do this time is we need to make our way all the way with Devin towards the yellow marker. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys remember that that is the spot where we're supposed to go to to dump the car into the ocean to kill Devin. But basically, we are going to be altering the cutscene by doing some small little changes to see if they actually go ahead and happen. You guys are going to see exactly what I mean in a second, guys. Oh my god, guys, look at this right here. The end credits are literally playing in mid-mission. What is going on here, dude? Alrighty, guys, so really quick, I want to showcase how weird this is. So as you guys can see, Devin is speaking to Trevor, as you can tell by the subtitles. So let's actually check if Devin is in the trunk. So if we go towards the vehicle door options and I can open up the doors right here, you can see that they open up with the mod menu. Now, if we try to go ahead and actually open the trunk of the car, you're going to notice that Devin is nowhere to be seen. But you guys can see that he's still talking. What is this? Like, what? <laughs> okay, that's really, really weird. And honestly, that was something that I really never even uh, considered thinking about. That is, that is truly, really weird. <laughs> All right, let's make our way towards the waypoint, man. And we're finally here towards the yellow marker. So, of course, I'm going to be pulling up with the trunk open because why not? Let's see what happens. But, of course, right about here is the spot where you dump the car where Devin falls down here and dies. But what we're going to be doing here is we are going to be altering that. So, of course, we're going to go towards my object spooner and we're going to go towards object. And we are going to be spawning in a ramp. Now, with the amount of speed and force that the three main characters are pushing the vehicle, they shouldn't have the power to, uh, you know, be able to pull the vehicle from a ramp. That is, like, pretty much impossible. So, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be setting up the ramp just about here, right about there. And as you guys can see, there we got the ramp all lined up. Now, what we need to do next is, of course, start the cutscene. And let's get on forward with this, man. Oh, my God. All right, so here's the yellow marker. We just about made it. And there's Trevor. The trunk is still open. Want to go ahead and clarify that. Let's see if the game closes the trunk. Let's see. Let's see. All right. The ramp is still there. It hasn't disappeared or anything. And then the day has changed towards sunset. All right, all right. The ramp is still there, guys. The ramp is still there. Devin is uh, still chilling over here. And oh, okay. So it looks like looks like the ramp is not 100% aligned with the vehicle right here. But that's totally fine because the ramp is still in the way. That's all that matters. So right here, while those two are talking, I'm just going to fool around in the cutscene. I'm just going to uh, go to player options and let's see what we can do to Trevor. So what I want to go ahead and do is see if we actually can set him on fire with burn mode. And we're going to press it. And oh, it actually worked. And the, the, the truck is closed. What? Devin, how did you come back, bro? All right, so Trevor's on fire. And Devin is, is there. Okay, that's really, really weird. Oh, my God, dude. 
Okay, so we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and see what else we can do. Let's go towards uh, let's go towards uh, animations. Let's stop the animation with Trevor as soon as we see him. And oh, oh, we can change him up a little bit. It looks like looks like Trevor is having a seizure here. What's going on, Trevor? Oh my god! And he, you don't even see him anymore. Is he like dying? Oh, okay, he's dead. I killed Trevor. Oh my god, I killed Trevor. I killed Trevor. What? What? Oh my god, he just he just appeared again. Okay. Okay, for a second there I thought I killed Trevor. Let's see if I can make him pole dance. Can I make him pole dance? No, you can't make him pole dance. You can't make him do any of this animation. But you can stop him from moving for a little bit like this. And oh, did I kill him again? Oh, uh, okay. Trevor's still on fire. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, Trevor, buddy, you good? You good, buddy? All right. So, um, Trevor's dead. We have the ramp lined up. We got our two characters right here. I wonder what happens if I can go ahead and uh, can I move Trevor? No, I can't move him. Can I move the car? Oh, oh, oh! So now I can move him. I can actually move him. Oh my god, that's pretty cool. All right. What if I put the? What if I put it right? No, you know what? Let's let's move them right about here. There we go. And then the rocks will stop them. All right, there we go. Let's push the car. Wait, what? What? Oh, I I can't see anything. It's going backwards. It's going backwards. It's going backwards. I can't see anything. It's going backwards. What? What? <laughs> what? What's going on? Okay, the game. The game. The I think I broke the game. I think I broke the game. Okay. All right, let's let's turn it. You know what? Oh, okay. What's going on? What's going on? All right. So here's the moment we've been waiting for. Right in front of us is the ramp, and we got the vehicle here lined up. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be pushing the car into the ramp, and we're going to see if it changes the cutscene of the game by stopping the car from flooding. Let's test this out right now, dude. We're oh my god, I can't believe this. We're almost there. Oh, oh my god. What? What? What just happened? And Trevor, you're alive. What just happened, dude? The game just just ignored the ramp. Trevor came back alive. The trunk was open. Devin was still there. Let's see if I can change the character to something else. Oh! Oh, I actually did. I I <laughs> Okay, so I changed Trevor into something else. I, I changed him into the tree. <laughs> I changed him into the tree, and he's not even there anymore. And he, he, I'm, I'm disappeared. All right. Bye, Trevor. All right, buddy. Peace out, Trevor. Been nice knowing you. All right. And then, and then there they go, guys. Off they go. So this has been quite an interesting video so far, guys. So um, if you guys have any more things you want to go ahead and test out, let me know down below in the comments. Okay. And we're in the water. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video. What? What? We failed the mission. We failed the mission, guys. We just failed the mission. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, drop a blue thumbs up. It'll be ever so much appreciative. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And I'll see all you cool cats later. Peace out, folks.